everybody welcome back okay so new year new tries YouTube here I come again it's been almost a year well I think it has actually been a year I've realized one thing in the year that I haven't been on YouTube I suck at doing makeup basically so this year I am what I am really good in is shopping trying new products saving you money, saving you time, and just, and Lily hasn't changed, she's still in the camera the whole time. Say hey Leo, say hello Bobo. In any case, I'm not gonna put her through any trauma. I think personally there's enough tutorials on YouTube for you to follow the real experts. And if you want to see how it's applied and new ways of doing it, please go ahead and have a look at those but this channel is certainly not for that i am going to show you how it looks afterwards and show you the product and yeah maybe we can learn from it this is basically how i look without makeup now a little bit about my skin i have a normal skin a little bit dryness sometimes under my eyes and that's it no, my T-zone sometimes gets a little bit oily, but um, nothing to write home about. It's not like I need specific makeup for that. So for the, my next step, I'm going to use It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, this is not the, you, you get the voluminous halum, one. This is just the normal It Cosmetics. Then I'm going to use um, Dior's... Um, skin forever skin correction i mean um forever skin correction if i can talk and what color is this this is number 5m so a little bit of correction just for under my eyes and i'm going to start this whole face off with elf primer so with these three products you will receive this look this is how I look with using those three products. Um, it basically takes away the redness. I do have a red nose constantly and it seems to break away first. My foundation normally seems to break away first from my nose area and around my mouth. Um, I think that's normal because you drink during the day, you have liquids, you rub your nose, especially with the masks that we're wearing. Um, but the foundation basically takes away all the imperfections, just smoothens out the face and the primer helps. Now for the eyes. Eyes done. But I've used some, I'm not going to do my eyebrows today. I've used Kiko's one color, I think it's number 218 for this look and uh, Catrice's just this white shadow, two colors. That's how you can achieve this. Let's quickly do the lips and that would be it. Mouth's done, lips are done. Just use Kiko's gloss number three. This is how easy it is from now on in my tutorials. If you like anything that you see, please drop me in the comment. I can obviously tell you how it's been applied, but I do not think that I'm an expert in this, but I'm definitely an expert in finding you the right products at the right price. Next time, I'm going to show you how I'm doing my contouring and blush, etc., etc., and maybe my eyebrows. Okay, have a good day.